Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the things that I get up to while I'm prepping for our upcoming homeschool year. So first and foremost, I just wanna show you guys where I'm starting off with. I am starting with off with trying to organize my two daughters' carts. I have a preschooler and a fourth grader this upcoming homeschool year, and I'm so excited to get things prepared for them. This is just how my office right now is looking with all of our homeschool supplies I really have to get things in order but first I need to make a quick library trip so I can go ahead and drop off all of my books so I won't get any late fees so I'm just dropping off our library books I really been happy that our local library has been open for me again and I'm so excited to check out books every time you guys I do go to the library they always have some type of arts and craft there for the parents to pick up and my daughters have been enjoying doing the crafts the librarians been putting together. I just wanted to show you guys like a quick library haul of the books that I um, picked up that I've reserved for us. I'm so excited to be able to um, just try out new books and different titles and things I see. I love just reading them and seeing if I want them in our own home library. So you guys, I'm actually starting off organizing my three-year-old's cart, Leia. Leia is my three-year-old and you guys, she is a very busy person. She's a busy body, but she loves when I play with her with all of these interactive preschool games that I picked up just from various places. I did make a video on my channel showing you guys all of my preschool resources that I do have to play with with Leia. And right now I found these really cute Ziploc um, I guess mesh bags that you're able to store things more flat. So I'm just taking out these puzzle pieces that I got from Aldi's. They were only $4.99, you guys. And I'm just using these Ziploc bags to organize them so I can put it on her cart. Now, in order for me to remember what um, puzzle pieces is in each one, I went ahead and I just cut out um, a portion of the label and I slid it in the front part of this little um, Ziploc bag that I found. You guys, I'm gonna try my best to link as much as many things as I can down below because I know um, it's so useful to be able to um, go back and click those links just to see um, the different items that a lot of people show and I know I'm very appreciative when people have links in the bottom of their description box. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for Leia to start off our school year and for me to be more intentional doing activities and games and things like that with her. Leia, my three-year-old, she does have a speech delay. However, I do not want that to stop her from learning and having fun and doing other things. Just because she's not speaking at the level that most three-year-olds are speaking, I feel like I shouldn't stop doing things like um, showing her numbers and counting and ABCs. Um, we are in speech therapy her speech therapy will start back up in August. However, I just want to make sure that we can still have fun and I still want her to um, be incorporated in some other learning other than just her speech and language development. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm actually a mom of three girls. I have a nine, three, and a one-year-old. And you guys, I am actually going into my second year of homeschooling. So I am very excited. I'm hopeful. I'm nervous. And um, yeah, I just have so many mixed emotions, you guys, just entering into my second year of homeschooling. I think what it is is that I know the things that I did wrong. And I'm going to try my best not to do the things that I did wrong last year. But I really need to focus on everything that went well. So, um, yeah, if any of you guys are in my shoes with this upcoming homeschool year, you guys, we got it. We can make it. Um, yeah. So right now, you guys, I'm actually working on my oldest daughter Brielle who is going into the fourth grade I'm working on her homeschool cart so Brielle was in a third grade last year and you guys she did an awesome job last year she really pushed through and she really made her mama bear proud and um this year I really want to just focus on um I guess just our bond together as a family unit I really want to focus on things that Brielle loves and enjoys and I really want to take this opportunity that I have to homeschool her and just to um, make memorable and enjoyable moments with Brielle. Um, you know, I know I was thrushed into this homeschooling year, you guys, and 
it really has been a big um, challenge just to overcome just being pushed into such a big commitment as homeschooling my daughter. However, you guys, like, I don't really see myself turning back, especially at this point. And um, yeah, so um, I really, I'm really just looking forward to our upcoming year. And I just really hope that um, it will just be awesome. Okay, now that I'm finished rambling to you guys, I'm just gonna tell you what's going on. I went ahead and I organized all of Brielle's um, markers and her um, color pencils and things like that in this little basket. I actually just took out the supplies that we use regularly, which is her color pencils and crayons, and I put them inside of a pencil box. And I put the rest of our art supplies that we use less frequently, more so when we're doing like our particular art in this little art basket. I wanted to do something different this year, you guys. I wanted to um, put Brielle's um, regular things she's going to be using in a latchmate bin just because um, I know Brielle wants a sense of independence. She does have like a desk in the area that she works in upstairs. We work on our dining room table. We work on our couch. Sometimes she comes into this room right here, which is my office floor, and she works on um, my office floor. So I really just wanted her to have something where she could just uh, keep all of her school supplies and things in and just, you know, know it be portable for us to go in the various places around our house now I know I do have this big office you guys that I could make into a homeschool room however I tried it twice I actually was going to make a video you guys showing me setting up my office into a homeschool room but it just really didn't work out for um, me and for my family and for our dynamic and um, yeah so I do have this extra room upstairs that it could potentially turn into a homeschool room it could turn into a playroom or it can turn into um, another kids room just because I have my two youngest daughters um, who are my one and three year old sharing a room and of course Brielle has her own room. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you a package that just recently came in the mail from September & Co. These are their Character Matters uh, flashcards where you're gonna be going over one characteristic and it has a Bible verse with it and it has some positive affirmations you're gonna be saying with your kids. And I seen this originally from Ashley from Grace and & Grit and you guys, I just had to get them for my daughter and for my family. I think this is gonna be a great addition to our morning and to our Bible time. So here I am showing Brielle her latch mate and she is very excited to see all of her things in her um, latch mate. She's asking me right now like where's all of her items at and I think she is really going to enjoy this uh, latch mate system that I put together for her. And I'm so excited that she is getting excited about school just as I am. As you guys are watching this video we have about three more days into our official start of our second second year of homeschooling and I cannot be any more excited. I, like I said before, I am nervous, but more so I'm excited for our journey to continue. Okay, so one of them is going to be fixed and gray. You already have it. It's right here. Okay, you guys, it's another day, and I had to go back to Michael's to get another latch mate for my youngest daughter, Leia. She doesn't have much curriculum, but I do have a lot of wipe and clean erasers. My mom actually found these at Burlington and bought them for Leia. And you guys, she loves these wipe clean um, handwriting and just different activities with the dry erase markers. So I do have her learning folder that I did show you guys from my preschool resources video. I'm just gonna flip and show you guys a few more pages of just her learning folder that we do go through. And also to you guys, something new and a new addition that I have added into um, Leia's homeschool is Purely Preschool. So I'm really excited for her to do her Purely Preschool just because again, it is a literature-based preschool and I love just all the hands-on activities that it does include. I have Leia's crayons going in here. And you guys, I went to the store and I found Leia her own first pencils that I'm gonna be putting at 
at the top along with her safety scissors and her latch mate. So I'm so excited for my baby girl to have her own bin and I think she's really going to enjoy having one like her big sister and really feel a part of our homeschool. Okay, you guys, the last thing that I'm doing in today's video is putting together my first science unit that we're gonna be doing our school year, which is the Mammals Science Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. As I'm putting this unit together, I'm actually uh, following along with Ashley from uh, Grace and Grit, putting together her first science unit from The Good and the Beautiful as well. You guys, I really have been enjoying doing these Good and the Beautiful science units just because it's just everything there for me. I don't have to think about it. It's open and go, and I really feel like I can take away add to these uh, science units and my daughters they love them even Leia who is my three-year-old you guys she definitely has been um, coming in and listening and wanting to be a part of the activities especially when we did our botany unit from the good and the beautiful so we're not starting off our year doing science but or starting off our first quarter doing science but our second quarter we will be doing it and I just want to have everything ready for our first semester so I can just be intentional with my time with my daughters while we are working. So here you guys is a um, look of how the unit looks on the inside. I just used a three ring binder to separate all of my, or to uh, house my unit. And I used the sheet protectors to put the little stories and whatever activities that I needed to cut out within each lesson. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick like little flip through of the mammals unit study and just show you how it's laid out in the lessons and uh, things like that. Now, one thing about the good and the beautiful that I do love and I do enjoy is that this unit study is for grades K through eight. They do have an extension for the seventh and the eighth graders. So what I do is I just put the extension all the way in the back of the um, three ring binder, just because honestly, you guys, my plan is really to reuse this curriculum, especially as um, my younger girls get older and um they want to do the mammals or the different units that we did over again um yeah so i really want to just keep my sciences and things in good condition because i really can see myself using um at least uh the mammals and the botany and the marine biology the ones that we've done so far was excellent and i can see me doing them again <music> I just want to give you an overview of how both of my daughter's carts are looking. I showed you guys this part at the top of Brielle's that has like all of her art supplies, um, especially like all of her pastels and things she's going to be using with her good and beautiful language arts. Here goes Leia's cart at the top. I have all of her little curriculum. I have her um, numbers puzzles. I have a little bin that we do sensory things in and I have all of the Ziploc bags that I put together in today's video with all of her puzzles and her games and everything that we need to do our tot schooling, preschooling and I love how organized it is and it's easy for us to just grab all the things we like and everything can stay contained. It has its own home. Now at the bottom of her um, cart, I do have her counting bears and I have another little Ziploc bag that has all of her printables that I laminated from totschooling.net that we can play different interactive games with all of her counting bears and things like that. Now on um, Brielle's second shelf right here, I do have the books from The Good and the Beautiful that goes with her language arts that couldn't fit. I have her place value chart with our math. And at the bottom is my baby section. I do have my teacher's guides for our Amazing Africa. We're gonna be doing our fix it grammar and our dimensions math. So you guys, I am so excited. I feel prepared. I feel ready to start this next homeschooling year. And you guys, I am ready to go i'm excited and i'm pumped for now now i want to give you guys a little sneak peek into what's going to happen in our next video if you guys do notice on my side of my office i no longer have the other bookshelf that house all of my books because i made my downstairs area into a homeschool space and i cannot wait to share it with you guys in my next video so you guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i want to thank everybody for joining me here on my journey on youtube i will see everybody in my next one bye